Hello everyone, today we're going to be comparing the um, cartoon classic collections Mikey and the Ninja Elite series or classic collection 1990 movie Mikey. So let's get started. Starting with the cartoon Mikey's accessories, now he just has his nunchucks which have, which have severe paint rub, we'll get to that later, um, and his display base that says his name, and unfortunately it is not, it does not have a black to make it like kind of pop, so it's just kind of plain gray, and um, which is weird because I'm pretty sure the original release had that, but this one's from the two pack with Bebop, so I don't know. Then we have the Ninja Lee Mikey from the 1990 movie. He just has his nunchucks, which do not have paint rub because they're just black. But in the movie, he had, like, strings instead of chains, but I do think the chains are better. And then the original one had a display base, but this one does not, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they didn't put that in here. And then he has a nice flocked fedora and a trench coat, which Mikey did not use, but I still like it because you can put on other figures and stuff like that. For accessories, I'm just going to have to go with the 1991 just because it has way more to offer. It sucks it didn't come with a display base, but the nunchucks don't have paint, so they cannot be, like, f scraped off. And the trench coat and the uh, hat are nice. Now, from what I can tell, these two have the exact same articulation. But let's just see which one's kind of smoother, and we're going to talk about the details, too. Um, so starting with the 1991, now his articulation is pretty smooth, but I'm kind of scared that's going to break. Um, I do like the sculpt. He has a lot of detail, but unfortunately there's no like uh, black wash to bring that out. And his shell does kind of look big, but um, once if you put on the trench coat, which I'm not going to do, it's not really noticeable. And it does, it doesn't, it's not like too big, so it doesn't look off. And then uh, for this one, the cartoon one. Um, he's got, like, the initial, but it's, like, smash or something. I don't know why. I kind of like it. And then right here, it's kind of discolored a bit, which is kind of weird. I don't know why I would do that. Um, but, yeah, and then here, we're going to talk about the nunchucks again. So, in these holes, um, you put the nunchuck in. The nunchucks do not stay in anymore. I don't know if this is just, a, a, like, a problem with mine, but they don't stay in. They fall out too easily, even if the figure's just sitting there. Um, you can kind of see it right here. Um, so yeah, that's like worrying. And then, um, the finger articulation, we should talk about that. Both of these guys have finger and toe articulation, which is a problem, um, because you can't hold the weapons. They fall out a little too easily, but once they're in there, um, they don't really fall out. You just have to like kind of work with them. Um, and then on the fingers on uh, the movie one and on the, um, cartoon one it's weird because it's different like right here um there's a thing that like make sure the fingers don't go like that way and then right here they can i don't know why they got rid of that um but i don't know um and right here i don't know if this is like a mistake or anything but there's like a ding right there you can see it it's like weird it's on the 1991 but I don't know if that's just one of mine or something, but it is what it is. All right, so for articulation and um, detail, I'm going to have to go with the 1990 movie one again, um, just because it has more detail. The It would be weird if the cartoon one had a lot of detail, like the, this one. Um, it's not like NECA level or anything. Um, they could have done that, but it's um, it's a $20 figure, so it's it doesn't have to be perfect. Um and the shell I really like it's way better to like feel and touch than this one it's kind of plain um and the belt too it has like buckles right here and I think that's a nice detail and the um like pads they look cool too they have like dings so, like they've been using them for a while and stuff like that and the eyes have um look way better on the movie one and the articulation is a lot smoother I, I did say it feels like it's going to break a little bit but it's just a little easier to use um it's not like the uh, cartoon one's super tight. Um, it's just this one runs a little better. Now we're going to compare these guys to some other figures in my collection. Starting with this Leo, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be um, the kind of Ninja Lee classic collection style. But he came with the Stranger Things 2 packs and that's not labeled as one. So it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I did do a review on this guy. And, I, and like he's, his arms look too small. 
it's kind of weird. All of their arms kind of do look small, but especially on this guy. Um, but I do think these guys look nice next to each other. Probably the cartoon one and the um, uh, Mirage Stranger Things um, turtle look, um, look way better with next to each other than the Mirage and um, the movie one would. But I do I think they are a nice group. Then we got them with Rocksteady and Tiny Head Shredder, which are also from the Ninja Elite and Classic Collection style. Um, the Shredder and the Mikey just got released in Target um, as single packs, so they're not new figures, but if you if you missed them, then um, you can go get them. This came with uh, Donatello, though, um, and this one came with Leo, but you can also get him as a single one as well. Um, the cartoon one's too um, tall, um, which is a problem, but the... Um, 1990 movie one does look nice with Shredder. If you put them into a pose, then they would probably look um, better. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to get, um, give it to the 1991. And then we have them next to the Vintage Mikey release and the 1990 movie Raphael. Unfortunately, I don't have the movie star Mikey, but it would be nice to have him. But unfortunately, Raph is the only one I got right now. I'm going to have to go with the cartoon one on this one just because he looks better um, next to them. Then we have them next to Skeletor and Howard the Duck. Um, I'm going to have to go with the 1991 on this one just because he looks better next to Howard and Skeletor, which are um, the best characters in history. And lastly, we got next to the Amazing Fantasy 15 Spider-Man and the uh, NECA KO Mikey. I'm going to have to go with... Um, Hmm. I'm going to have to go with the cartoon one on this just because he looks um he fits in better with both of them. Um but I and um they're kind of, they're too tall honestly. They're too tall for all figures because like they're towering over Spider-Man here and I like the, the turtles when they're like shorter like 4 feet tall or something. Um so yeah. Overall, I do like both of them. But the 1990 movie figure does win this one. It sucks he does not come with a display base. And it's a lot harder to get him to hold his nunchucks. Um, but his nunchucks are better. And the sculpt is nice. Um, I don't know why he doesn't come with a display base. But he came with a trench coat and a fedora. Um, but it's it's a nice inclusion. I'm going to probably use the fedora and the trench coat um, a lot in my animations and all that. Um, so it's nice that he comes with it. But it's weird that they couldn't just make him a Raph. And it's also, um, and I don't know why they changed the name to Ninja Elite Series instead of Classic Collection. It's probably because it was getting a lot of, like, hate and stuff. But it's it's a shame because when these two figures first came out in, like, 2012 and 2014, um, people liked them. And now, like, NECA, Super 7, BST, AXN, um, and some, like, third-party companies are doing their take on Ninja Turtles. And people just kind of started hating on these guys. Um, I like them, but that's... Just probably because I, I don't buy them, the, like, expensive stuff. I have the BST ones and, and like, the NECA Last Run-In and, and that. But, like, I don't know. It's just not, it's not, like, not as good as the others. Um, and they're kind of outdated, you know. Um, but the 1990 movie figure wins this one. Um, they both have their flaws. Like, the um, 1990 movie figure is a lot harder to stand, so I don't know why he doesn't come up with a display base, but um, they're both um, nice. And um, the 1990 movie's face expression is way better than the um, cartoon one. Well, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, I'm thinking about doing a Spider-Man one. Um, if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, but, yeah. Uh, bye!